The universe is made up of billions of planets and stars, hundreds of millions of galaxies, and nearly innumerable stars that span tens of billions of light years. But our universe may not be the only one that possesses life. Instead, there may be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws, clusters of stars and galaxies, and maybe even the presence of sophisticated civilizations. It's possible that our universe is simply one of many in a much greater, far wider collection of universes known as the multiverse. Hi guys, welcome to Science Faction. Join us as we explore the multiverse hypothesis. Make sure you have smashed the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any of our videos. What is a multiverse? The multiverse is an arrangement of multiple universes which comprises everything from space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that govern them. They are also referred to as parallel universes or alternative universes. Though the idea of a multiverse is a theoretical concept that proposes an idea that there exist a vast number of potential universes. There are several distinct theories that explain the nature of the multiverse, which includes the many worlds interpretation, which is taken from quantum physics, brain worlds predicted by string theory, and other more fanciful theories such as the repeating universe theory, and hence the parameters of what defines the multiverse vary depending on who you ask. Many modern physicists consider the multiverse in the context of quantum physics, which is the many worlds idea. The hypothesis attempts to explain the behavior of subatomic particles, which may exist in several places at the same time. The multiverse concept has several manifestations, particularly in cosmology, quantum physics and philosophy, and frequently argues for the real physical existence of various alternative configurations of the known observable world. The idea of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics was first proposed by Hugh Everett. He was a graduate student at Princeton University, and the idea popped into his mind when he was drinking sherry with his colleagues in the student hall. He formulated the hypothesis for his PhD thesis in which the concept of multiverses played a vital role. According to his research, we live in a multiverse of multiple worlds, each of which contains a copy of ourselves. According to Max Tegmark of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Everett's work is as essential as Einstein's work on relativity. However, the prominent scientists of Everett's day, particularly Niels Bohr, one of the founders of quantum mechanics, couldn't wrap his head around that every decision we make creates new universes, one for all possible outcomes. He faced criticism not only from Bohr, but also from other top quantum scientists. This made Everett publish a watered-down version of his concept and eventually quit physics as he was disappointed with it. Hugh Everett had an interesting life and had a keen interest in physics and mathematics. When he was 12, he wrote to Einstein and even got an answer. As a young man, Hugh was already eager to take on the world's most powerful physicists. His letter to Einstein was an attempt to address the riddle of what occurs when an immovable object collides with an unstoppable force. His math professor recommended him for Princeton, saying, This is a once-in-a-lifetime endorsement, for I believe it very improbable that I shall ever again find a student to whom I can provide such total and unqualified support. Bubble Universes According to this theory, there might have been other Big Bang events that occurred so far away from us that we can't even fathom the distances involved. It is based on the concept of cosmic inflation, which argues that the universe expanded exponentially in the first minuscule fraction of a second following the Big Bang, and that this universe may someday collide with another universe created in another different Big Bang. Perhaps the distances involved are so great that these multiverses will never intersect, in any case, it doesn't take a tremendous leap to imagine bubble worlds. Some regions of space-time grew quicker than others in this multiverse theory. This resulted in the formation of space-time bubbles. Each bubble has a vacuum that is brimming with energy, variously called dark energy, inflation field, or Higgs field. Another concept that is similar to this is the repeating universe theory, which is based on infinite space-time. If it is infinite, the particle configuration will ultimately replicate itself. According to this notion, if you go far enough, you will come across another Earth and eventually another you. But the world of quantum mechanics describes the cosmos in terms of probabilities. All potential consequences of a choice or event not only occur in the quantum universe, but a new universe is established at each branch point, making the number of universes theoretically infinite. Brain's World 
According to this multiverse idea, the universe we can see with our own eyes isn't the only universe. Beyond the three spatial dimensions we see, there exist more dimensions. Other three-dimensional brains may coexist in higher dimensional space, forming alternative worlds similar to a parallel universe. According to this theory, the familiar three dimensions that contain all of the stars and galaxies we see might be a membrane or brain floating in a realm of five, six, or more dimensions, similar to a soap bubble. Other brains in higher dimensions, other worlds we will never glimpse, might exist. The concept of brain worlds in higher dimensions is that our universe has been folded over countless times. Light from distant objects must travel down the brain, which take billions of years to reach us. But gravity may take a shortcut through a higher dimension and fool us into thinking there is invisible stuff around us. The presence of brain worlds would help us address the dark matter conundrum. Criticism Faced by Multiverse Though multiverse theories are quite famous, the ideas have been extensively challenged numerous times. Some regard them as speculative or philosophical rather than scientific, which is a genuine criticism that the multiverse theory faces. And if there was only one universe, there probably wouldn't be any life in it. However, there are enough chances for life to arise in at least one dimension of a multiverse. This explanation is not very persuasive, and most scientists remain suspicious of the multiverse concept. The legitimacy and effectiveness of anthropic arguments like the one used to explain the cosmological constant's tiny observed value, are also debatable, making the idea more of a philosophy than a scientific finding. Such logic, however, is arguably no different from explaining Earth's unusually remarkable ambient temperature and local density in comparison to the majority of other planets in the cosmos. Many researchers have attempted to unearth further scientific, empirical proof supporting the existence of the multiverse. For example, if a neighboring universe occurred to be close to ours a long time ago, it may have crashed with us, leaving a visible trace. On the other hand, the defenders of the multiverse argue that describing the observable world as one component of a multiverse might be much simpler than describing the observed universe as the only one. Well, that's all for today's episode, guys. Do you think the multiverse exists? Let us know in the comments. Have you heard about Oumuamua? If not, click on this video to the left to know more about it. And if you want to know more about the James Webb Telescope and how it is one of the greatest marvels, check out the video on the right. We'll see you there.